So I got a video request on the subject of identity, and I'm going to approach this from at least two different ways. I'm going to first start off with the Freudian model, you know, the id, the ego, and the superego. And I'm also going to tie uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza into this, but really we're going to explore that of identity, right? Um, identity is a lot of fun to talk about. Um, I got word that I talk about identity a lot, which is true. And that identity is kind of like tossed around as a subject these days. And I would argue that it is. Identity is a very fascinating thing. Um, we all, I was almost going to say we all have one. Some of us, depending on how we were raised, um, kind of, I'll get into that. Anyway, so let's look at the Freudian model, right? So you have the id, right? When an individual is born into this world, the first thing that they have is an id, right? The first thing that they develop is an id. And that is basically pleasure and destruction. You see this in infancy, right? Um, infants are kind of all about pleasure and destruction. And so as time goes on, an individual usually develops an ego, depending on how they're raised. And by the way, depending on how traumatizing their childhood is, that ego might end up being more on the side of fractured, right? And you see this sometimes in, like, say, for instance, uh, personality disorders, right? Um, sometimes people lack a static sense of self, a static identity, right? Um, and so the ego formation is really what a person's identity is, right? Everyone experiences trauma to some level, whether more or less, right? There is such thing as more trauma. There is such thing as less trauma. Um, more marring and scathing, less marring and scathing, right? Depending on the level of that, you're going to see yourself in different ways. If you were raised in a very healthy way, you're going to see yourself in a much more clear and healthy and wholesome way. And that is considered a healthier ego state. Um, when it comes to identity, it has a lot to do with the ego state, right? The development of the ego state, right? And then, so again, it's the id, it's the ego and it's the super ego, right? And so again, the id comes first, then the development of the ego, hopefully as healthy as possible, in many cases not, and people end up, you know, with a disfigured or a fractured ego state, depending on whatever, some people get a healthier ego state, everyone gets some level of marring. Um, and then after that is the superego, the superego is the shoulds and the should nots. And then there are basically back and forth between superego and id that the ego has to decide you know they kind of create a balance and shoulds should nots collide with pleasure and destruction which is kind of hilarious um and that's kind of like the balance there and then over time that creates identity in that sense now let's look at identity in the i was almost going to say dispense uh, well, yeah, his name is Dr. Joe Dispenza, but the um, the Dispenzoian. <laughs> so I'm gonna call no, no, much much love to the dude. I love I loved his teachings. I love what he talks about. Um, but um, let's look at identity in the sense of personality. Ego is basically personality, um, but a personality consists of what a person thinks, feels, and does. All of those things are conditionable. They're shapeable. I don't even know if that's a word, but basically um, a person's personality, in other words, their personality, their identity, um, or yeah, a, a person's personal reality is what creates their personality. I think I said that right. Um, 
And so in that sense, in terms of identity, it comes down to these three elements of thinking, feeling, and behaving or doing, right? What it is that you think consistently, what it is that you feel consistently, and what it is that you do consistently. That is what creates the static of a person's personal, a person's personality, which creates their personal reality. There we go. Um, yeah, I have referenced Dr. Joe Dispenza in videos in the past. I just think he's a very fascinating guy. Um, but really what the, 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 the subject of this video is all about is identity and what exactly is identity. So there's the Freudian model that I just explored, and there is that model of um, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Identity, um, it has a lot to do with conditioning from early childhood, right? So you have the ego, right? The ego state that is conditioned from early childhood, right? And again, through the rest of your life. And um, I compare a person's ego with personality in terms of what a person thinks, what a person feels, and what a person does, right? Um, and just because this channel is all about psychology, spirituality, growth, all of that stuff, right? Um, I want to dive into the realm of trauma because trauma has to do with identity. And I think it's important to touch base on that because there is a lot to talk about there. Um, so let's take a look at what happens when a person's identity or in other words, ego, from a very early point gets traumatized or disfigured or marred or scathed, just like everyone's does, right? Um, it's fascinating because, like, if you learn a belief, for instance, right, that you are worthless, right? I just made a video the other day on, you know, beliefs that shape your reality, what it is that you learn about yourself, right? And how that shapes your reality and how you continue to choose that, right? You just continue to live that belief out until maybe you learn that it's just not accurate, right? Marring, scathing, trauma, it's not that it has anything to do with identity. I mean, sorry, it's not, it's not that it has anything to, to actually do with the self. Like, all right, so say for instance, let's utilize the defense mechanism that is projection, right? If, um, if a child is too young, which they are, to know that a caretaker has their own shit, right? Um, they're going to have a hard time not internalizing the projection that their caretaker puts on them, right? Because what they're going to think is, oh, I'm bad because my caretaker projected their shit onto me. They can't see, like they, they, they can't see the projection. All they see is, oh, I'm bad. That's why this person did that, right? If they could see the oh, that person just has their own shit and they're projecting onto me, they wouldn't internalize it and they wouldn't deal with the, uh, the, the, the shame and the worthlessness and the guilt and all that stuff. It would be a whole different story. So that's the fascinating thing about identity paired with trauma. Um, when you're so young, you cannot tell the difference between self and other, especially if you haven't gone through the necessary individuation and differentiation to um, to understand boundaries and understand like, oh, that person is a human just like I am. That person has their own shit just like I do, right? In adulthood, we can tell the difference. In adulthood, we can hopefully find out what the fuck happened to us, do the work, heal, set boundaries, um, and then, you know, be like, oh, wait a second, we all have 
shit. <laughs> you know? um, and therefore, with that, not internalize all the stuff, which leads to the disfiguring and the fucked upness of the ego state that we are conditioned into by, you know, whoever, right? Um, and that's really what it's all about. Um, tying trauma, disfigurement into, I don't, even, I don't even know if that is a word, disfigurement, whatever, I like it anyway. Um, that's how all that kind of stuff goes, right? Um, but to really like look at identity and understand what's going on there, um, identity is a sense of self. It's a matter of how you see yourself and also how you perceive the world and others through that lens of the self, you know? And um, it really comes down to that. That is what identity is. Identity is a sense of self um, started off by early childhood conditioning and then hopefully individuation, differentiation take place and you get to really start forming your own sense of self, sense of identity that is separate from that which you were raised with, right? Um, identity is a very fascinating subject. There's probably going to be a part two to this. Um, but I hope that answered the question of, you know, just the subject of identity. There's literally so much. I, I, could, I could make a video about this for, I don't know, a long time. I really could. Um, but yeah, there will probably be a part two to this.